Oasis people, we want truth. Truth makes you free. Truth will set you free. I want truth. Your mind gets stretched when you see truth or when you learn truth. Like the truth is, I don't care what the recession is saying. You don't have to be broke. There are people in this church right here that are givers and they lost their job and I prophesied to you and told you, you ain't got to worry and you got, you've had two or three jobs. So how are you getting jobs and another man or another person, it's been three years and they're still in the same boat? Smallness of mind. Because God can do it. God can make the difference. A small-minded person feels like that, that you live to work a job and live to pay bills. Can I testify? I had a mind like that. And it felt like that. I exist to go to work and pay a bill. I, the only reason why God gave me life is go to go get up, go to work, eat, pay my mortgage, pay my car note, pay my credit card bill, get up the next morning, do the same thing, small-minded, not knowing that there's a whole big old world and universe out there that God says, I've given you dominion, I want you to conquer it, I want you to take it, I want you to experience it, I want you to have dominion over it, I want my will in the earth to be done just like it is in heaven, and I'm not coming to do it myself because I already sent my son Jesus to die on the cross to redeem you, to justify you, to equip you, and to empower you, so Jesus is not going to come do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. Your family has wealth that God has built up in heaven that he's already appropriated for you and your house. But if you don't see it, you'll never get it. People that don't give, people that don't have a generous spirit, miss out on life. They're the people that say, I can't. They're the people that say, what happens if it don't work? They're the people that say, what if it don't work out? But people that's generous and people that give and people that understand biblical truth knows that it will work. And even when it's not working, it is working because all things work together for my good because I'm called according to his, to his purpose and I love the Lord. So it works. I'm seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness and all of these what? Things. Say what you want to. First class is made for you. God don't need first class. God don't need diamonds. He don't need money. He, he put all that stuff in the world for you. The best steak, the best food, the best clothes are all designed and made for you. Do we become materialistic? No. But we understand that God has all this stuff in the world and he don't want us not to benefit from it. He don't want us not to use it. He don't want us not to have it. He just don't want us to have a small mind and be selfish. He wants us to be selfless. Conduits. Conduits that God says, I can use you. If I can take one man, if I can take one woman, if I can take one family and use you to be a blessing to the whole world. So everything that you get, you don't mind giving. When you have the truth, can't nobody fool you. When you have the truth, I'm your pastor, but I can't trick you because you have truth. I can't trick you because you pray. I can't trick you because you study. And God is giving you biblical truth so you know it without a shadow of a doubt for yourself. Your family can disagree. I don't care because I know truth. My character changed when I get truth. My character changed by the Spirit of God through prayer. So some of us in this room got to be honest and say, I got a problem with faith. I got a problem with money. I have a problem with giving. I don't mind spending my time. I don't mind doing other stuff, but I'm not giving up any money. You got to pray and say, God, I need you to help me because I don't want to stay where I am. You got to study the Bible and get biblical truth so it'll set your mind free. It'll open your mind and now you can stand up with your chest out and say, I am who God says I am. I can do what God say I can do. And if God said it, I, I believe it. That settles it. I'm standing on the word of God. Storms may rage. Winds may blow. But I'm staying right here in the will of the Lord. And it may not come when I want him to. But when he shows up, he's going to be right on time. And he's going to give me double for my trouble. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. And neither has it entered the hearts of men. The thing God is going to do in my life.
And let me tell y'all something about the church and all this attack on the church. The church going to make it. One man, one person, one person, your neighbor sitting next to you don't have enough power to stop God. Woo! One naysayer, one hater don't have enough power to stop God. You can hate, you can pray against me, but you can't stop God because I know the truth and I got God on my side. I need you to touch your neighbor and say they can't stop the God in your life. I love you. Tell them I love you, but you ain't got enough power to stop the God in my life. Woo! I like you, but you don't have enough anointing to stop the will of God in my life. Y'all got to learn how to tell your haters to shut up. Y'all got to know how to tell your haters no weapon. They may say you're deep, but you got to look at them sometime and pull the truth out of your pocket and say, hey, I, no weapon. Say what you, no weapon. You got to know how to go to work and whisper to your boss that don't like you, no weapon. Talk about me, think you're going to get me fired, but no weapon. If I lose my job, you got to know how to say no weapon. No weapon that's formed against me shall be able to prosper because God is my source. I'm connected to the source and you done messed up, devil. I got the truth about me now. I ain't got to stay right here. I don't have to live like this because I learned the truth about my future in God. Woo! I got the truth. 